All right, so turn the music hey, down everyone. just a tiny bit. Just a tiny. There we go. That was intense. It was that right. Was, that was a tough one, Jerry's. And he was trying to bring that back. So oh my hard. god, he's he's had my number lately, but um, I finally have started playing his game. I think. Okay. Better. Better, because you you can't play any other game when you're playing Jerry. You have to play his game, unless you play like. What would you say his game is? Just everything is optimal, so you have to like out optimal him. Damn. You have to out optimal him, and you have to catch him. That's it. That's the game. He's so, getting good. Oh my god, he's incredible, and it's like he doesn't have any bad matchups. That's the scariest part. I can maybe think of like one, which is just the Fox Ditto. But that's the yeah. that's the dumbest matchup in the game anyway, so it doesn't really ha matter. Has he beat Judy up two that before? Because he said no. I can't beat him. He's not today, so that so, was his first time beating. Yeah, him. at the MDVA Invitational, everyone beat you except thank you. Everyone beat you except for Jerry and June, and it's just surprising because Jerry's really good against Icy's. Like he's beaten this kid, and um, mm -hmm. he like destroys every Icy's in region. Um, Just make sure it doesn't, yeah, the yeah, number yeah, doesn't yeah, go yeah, yeah. on the camera. But, um, uh, oh, okay. So that was Darius. But I it's mean, one of the strongest matchups. But Chu, so Chu's, I think, the exception. Chu's one of the only players that can force Jerry to play Chu's game. Okay. And a lot of that is just being ice climbers and just having the threat of the grab. But yeah. like, to play against Chu, Chu's, Chu is like Jerry in that he forces you to play his game better than him. And I think Chu is better at that than Jerry, does that okay. But uh, today, I think Jerry kind of pulled pulled yeah. that tug of war to Jerry's side today. That being uh, said, you you beat both of them. I beat both so. of them. I mean, I haven't lost to Chew in like like seven years or something. It's, like, it's a tough match. It's been a long, long time. And yeah, and he's tried other characters, but all the characters he tries are so bad. He is not good. He with tries other like characters. Pikachu and Young Link against me. It's like. He probably, I don't know, he'd probably do better with like Marth or something, I don't know. It's just, it's funny. He just doesn't put time in any other character. Right, right. I don't even know if he puts time in Ice Timers, honestly. He's just, he's All just his years really, really good. Yeah, he just gets in your head and you can see like a lot of it is just, he just stands there. And just standing there as Chu is just like mountains of pressure against right? anyone who's playing. Because everyone knows how like, how quick he is and how just like annoying he is to play against. So, um, but I like I've you know I've I've played him probably not too many times in the past past few years, but every time I end yeah. up just beating him. And he's he tries the Pikachu, he tries the Young Link. He always is best at best with Ice Climbers, and we've had really close sets before. Um, closest was like the the timeout I actually had. On, uh, it was a SmashCon 2015 where it was like we each had like three stocks, and it was just like 15 seconds left, and it was just a big struggle to try to. <laughs> Try to get that percent. That was probably the closest he's ever gotten to beating me um, since I started Poor my streak against him. Uh, nah, and yeah, that's a tough matchup. It is. Yeah. The way he played today was really funny because he just kept on like short hop side to try yeah, to catch I know. me out of the air. Like... That's actually how Icy used to, used to play the matchup in Brawl. Cause yeah, I just I, I approached the matchup as exactly as I did in Brawl, where you just you float right on top of them and you start down airing their shield, force them to roll, try to get a shield poke on Nana, and if you get a shield poke. Or if they're still in shield and you drop in the middle of them with a Nair, the Nana should die. Um, but he was just diffusing that whole situation in general by just short hop and side being to catch it me out of the so air. It was so weird. It was weird. He's never done that to me before. And I've actually been, I've been telling Icy's to do that against Peach because it, it nullifies a lot of her aerial yeah. pressure. Because if you, you just need to like nick her out of her float. And then all of a sudden she loses all her pressure because oh, like she can't, she, she can't land, she can't hit your shield without getting shield grabbed, and just it was it was very. Yeah. I feel it like it'd be. Uh, <laughs> I feel like he didn't space it quite right a couple times. I have no idea how. Like, I'm, it, I'm, at one at a certain point it auto cancels. Oh really? Out Sometimes he was yeah, landing. Probably right. He was landing without. Well, at least that's how it was in Brawl. Right. I feel like it is similar. He right. was landing with like a lot of lag, mm. and you were punishing him sometimes. Yeah, eventually I just started spacing outwards, and he would have to like side be that extra distance to be able to hit me, and then I could punish him on the way down. Um, it was just it was really funny the way he was doing that. But um, yeah, so uh, even more lately, you've been doing a lot, doing really well nationally. This mm -hmm. last year has been a big year for you. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say? Because you've been playing for a really long time. Long time, yeah. So what does was there like a change in play style or mental game or? So it all I think it all started 
in the summer of 2015, that's mm -hmm. when I actually started coming here, like, every week, where I just had that consistent chance to just push myself in mm -hmm. tournament. Because, like, before that, I never really went to, like, tournaments consistently. Mm -hmm. um, but in that summer, that's when like Rishi and I would just keep keep the grind going. Just every week, we would try to see like push ourselves further and further and further. And I was in college at that point, and yeah. I also kind of took the role as like mentor for my college scene. And okay. like, I, you know, I gave like a lot of actually like presentations for how to improve and how to play the game. And oh, okay. I think with all of that discussion, I ended up improving myself. Which is pretty cool because, like, yeah. you know, I didn't. Back in William and Mary, like, we didn't have good players back then. Um, I mean, I was winning tournaments with, like, my Pichu. It just, it was just a yeah. very bad scene. But the people there were willing to learn, willing to practice, willing to get better. And, like, we all improved as a group. Um, and because of everyone else's improvement, they also pushed me a lot. Um, and eventually, I was like, um, if, if anyone has read my guide, actually, that's kind of what I talk about. It's like I kind of set myself on like the optimal path to improve. Okay. So since then, it's just been like a straight acceleration forward okay. by just, you know, learning new like character interactions and just tips and tricks and just, you know, matchup experience and mm -hmm. just like punish, uh, cleaning up my punish game and at some point cleaning up my edge guards and just with like with the mindset of just I'm going to improve like in every aspect of my game all the time okay and I'm just constantly going to be learning and learning and learning um, I'll be able to just increase my skill and also decrease my variability so that I can become both consistent and able to be people better than me awesome so, so where are we gonna see you next next I will be actually at Boss Rush Lod in Arizona on March oh, cool. 9th, I think. Whatever that Saturday is. And then after that, Full Bloom. So. Well, oh, yeah, Full Bloom's gonna be big. Yeah, that's, and like, with the whole, like, summit uh, invitational or whatever, where yeah, like, the top could, two people get you invited. Just straight make it. That'd be, that'd be sick. Yeah, Summit's sick, so yeah. that'd be an awesome great yeah, opportunity. Yeah, yeah. That'd be um, a lot of fun. I just wanted to sidestep, so. I want to talk about Zane a little bit. He couldn't make it. Is he a part of your guys' group, or is he just completely separate? Because um, I know Zane lives in Sova, right? Yeah, he goes to and Virginia Tech. You guys used to live in Sova, right? Or yeah, you... but it's you know Virginia's so big. Yeah, it's, it's like huge. we used to be like four hours from him, even though he was three hours from like Nova and we were three hours from Nova. It was just a big triangle. So we we met a lot um, at the regionals across mm -hmm. the region and at nationals eventually. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily call him a part of He's not part of your guys training group. Well so my group is more just Rishi. Okay. But Rishi's group includes me, June and Zane, if that makes oh, okay. sense. So like I guess Rishi is the combining factor. Okay, okay. okay. Um, but yeah like Rishi well, June, You guys have all Zane, been getting uh, really good. Yeah we're like I think we're like the new faces of MDVA. Oh, with, definitely. With Jerry too. It's yeah. just like all of us kind of like we've all been playing the game for a long time. Zane not so much. Jerry not so much. Um, but within the past few years, we've all been improving at about the same rate. Yeah. Um, Zane probably more than the rest of us, um, especially with his strides nationally. Zane just. Um, uh he hasn't really hit a plateau yet, which normally some right. of his skill usually hits exactly. one eventually, and he exactly. isn't. So yeah, and we'll it's see all what happens. <laughs> who really knows what he does to get better. Um, we see his movement, we see his yeah. punish game. It's just disgusting how good he is right now. He kind of reminds me of PP. I feel like he like yeah. goes home and studies. Yeah, probably. And probably. Then, I've never really who's talked he, who's to him about him. Like when he's in Sova and you guys aren't there, mm -hmm. like who's he practicing? Against? That's the, that's the question. I don't even know. I was talking to someone about this earlier today. It's like my. My approach to improvement is like by discussion. Like I don't need to play the game yeah. to get better. I don't need to watch the game to get better. I just need to think about the game yeah. to get better. But I think Zane's actually, he's a lot more playing based. Like he gets better the more he plays. And like, I know he has, he's like a fiend when it comes to, to Smash Fest. He could play for like 12 hours straight and not get tired. Whereas um, I have I have play like two hours and I'm like, all right, I'm, yeah, done, yeah. I'm done for the day. I know what you mean. <laughs> You get mentally exhausted. Right, right, right. You just feel like you're not getting better. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, I, I was talking to him and he was telling me like, he said he like never has gotten bored playing melee. Right, which is a really good 
part of your mentality to have because like he always finds new things right he's like such an innovator of marth yeah um, even after so many years that the character right. been out he's just still finding new things and um yeah it's like he has a lot of good people at uh virginia tech to play with like they, they have a very strong scene there and they have good character diversity um it's just crazy is does mahone live down there he used to but he moved to california yeah, he used to I'm go to like, school i'm just like how like when I saw Zane play Hunger Box, I was like, mm -hmm. how is he like playing a Puff to even try this? I know. Well, he he actually thinks Puff is his best matchup because of the Mahone practice. Okay, so yeah, he, has, he did get Mahone right. practice. Right, they used to okay. play a lot, I think, or at least somewhat back in the day. Yeah. Um, well, I don't want to, you know, focus on Zane. Great job. <laughs> Thank you. Know, you. You got first. Uh, you had to. You had you, you lost Jerry in semis. Yes. So you had to make the full losers full run. run. Yeah. Had to beat all the good players. Yeah, I was so. I was hoping Jerry would lose to Chu, so that I could only I don't have to play uh, Jerry in one set because like I knew I could beat Chu in two sets, but I didn't think I could beat Jerry in two sets. But Wait. as soon as in the second set, as soon as I won the game on Stadium, I knew it was over because I was like I have two games on Fountain now, yeah, and I don't think I can lose. I don't know yeah, you had to counter pick twice. It's right. really cool. But anyways, congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, I hope to see you at the new venue. Absolutely. Uh, March 26th. We're actually going to show the video again from yeah, yesterday. 